In the 1800s, it was a bustling frontier town. Today, it's a modern state capital that honors its past. I'm Eric Hastings, and we're on the trail in Carson City, Nevada. Rich history and culture, scenic beauty, plenty of space to spread out and relax, outdoor recreation, indoor recreation, and an unmistakable culinary experience make this place a one-of-a-kind American West destination. Carson City took its name from the Carson River, which was named by John C. Fremont after his expert guide, Kit Carson, back in 1844. Yeah, I know, I just read that in the brochure. Geography buffs will note Carson City is the state capital, and that's where you should start your tour. It's been fully restored, and it's free to visit. While we're on the subject of architecture, spend some time on the Kit Carson Trail. It starts right where I'm standing. The Kid Carson Trail is full of picture-perfect turn-of-the-century mansions, courthouses, and other notable hotspots from the past. The Talking Houses podcast, or a CD you can get, brings the history to life and is almost impossible to lose your way for most people. Those of you that crave the outdoors but use words like birdie, or in my case, uh, mulligan, I've got two new words for you. Divine Nine. It may be a golfer's higher calling. This isn't my ball. Oh, of course. Combined, the Carson City Divine Nine golf courses offer 171 holes spread out over 61,000 yards, most of them challenging and all of them designed on some of the most beautiful terrain in the valley. For the kids, drop by the Children's Museum of Northern Nevada. It's a museum, but it's fun. Is my hat on crooked? Yeah. Better. Not every day you get to ride a train. This is the V&T Railroad, and when this track's complete, it's going to connect Virginia City with Carson City. Some of the most spectacular views of the region can be found on your 45-minute guided tour of this original 1800s rail line. They say train travel is coming back into fashion, but how did it play a role in history? Well, you can get the answers at the Nevada State Railroad Museum. Go ahead, I was just in there. Plan at least a few hours learning about this fascinating mode of transportation. And yes, the whole family will love to operate a real handcar. On your Carson City vacation, the culinary experience can be a memorable part of the trip. No disrespect to the salad bar, but we're jazzing it up a bit. From the casual to the elegant, Carson City will satiate your taste buds on just about any budget. You ever wondered how they press silver coins? Well, you can get a demonstration on the last Friday of every month at the Nevada State Museum, because it used to be a federal mint. The Nevada State Museum houses an incredible collection of permanent exhibits all designed to show you how Nevada became Nevada. It's open every day of the week except Christmas and New Year's. The entire family will be captivated for hours. This is a gold mine. Oh, okay, it's a replica of a gold mine, but it's a really good replica. I think I see gold. Nope, just a light bulb. The Stewart Indian School is located in Carson City and was the only off-reservation boarding school in the nation for Native American children. It operated from 1890 to 1980. And today, you can take a self-guided tour using your cell phone of the beautifully restored campus. Well, I didn't want to say I told you so, but I told you so. Carson City, Nevada is one of the most unique and diverse places in the American West. I'm Eric Hastings. That's what I got. Have you come here? We love to have you get down in downtown Carson City. So be here, man. Dude, this is where it's happening. I'm telling you, I think you should run for mayor. <laughs> Actually, I, I am. am. <laughs>